Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And today's video is going to be like another trend prediction roundup situation, but the last video was 2024 trend predictions. This time it's trends that I don't think are going to be in for 2024 slash don't think I'll be wearing a lot in 2024, but with all of these videos, it's obviously just opinions and none of it really matters that much. It's fun to kind of be in tune, see what other people are thinking, share my thoughts, but of course just wear whatever the heck you want, whether it's in or out or to whoever's standard, just wear what you want. But this is going to be my little take on what I think is out and what I won't be wearing in 2024. Also, I'm staying at my grandma's house right now and there's nowhere to film really. So today's video is going to be filmed in my car. So enjoy and bear with me and let's get to it. Per usual for these videos, I've done research. I read like the Vogue article I thought was really good for this. I've watched other people's YouTube videos. I can't remember their names to be honest, but I'll try to link them. I just watched like a bunch of different YouTube videos and then things that I see in real life, things that I talk about with my friends who are also in the fashion space or who just enjoy fashion. So that's kind of the background on all of this and let's get to it okay so the first thing that i saw i think i read about this on vogue and i also saw it in a bunch of different youtube videos and that was that barbie core is going to be out in 2024 which i feel like makes a lot of sense because obviously 2023 was the new barbie movie it was a hit everybody loved it and i feel like a lot of us were inspired by the amazing visuals in that movie obviously a lot of pink a lot of fun and they're just kind of saying that that in intense hardcore over the top pink highlighter pink barbie pink vibe is going to be out in 2024 which i don't have a problem with at all because i'm not really much of a pink girly myself but kind of taking this to another level as well i think it was on vogue that i read about that neons would also be out for 2024 which i think kind of just went in line with the barbie core being out so instead of those really bright highlighter colors we're thinking more muted sort of classic colors so red is still going to be having a huge moment in 2024 it is to be predicted anyways and i am totally here for that because i'm loving red and I'm way more of a red girl than a pink girl. So selfishly, I'm totally good with the Barbie core being out and I'm looking forward to a lot more red things. I love, 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 love red accessories like a bag, a pair of boots, even like a good trench coat or a sweater or something, a scarf. Ooh, there's so many good red things. Also like navy, forest green. These just like really classy, timeless colors are gonna be in, so we love that. Okay, the next trend that I also read about that I was very happy about was that heels are going to be out. And of course, like I said, none of this is like a law or anything like that. It's not like you're not going to see people wearing heels at all, but it's just trends and where things are going in the fashion industry, what people are seeing a lot on the runways or from designers or, you know, in other various mediums, so to speak, of fashion. And... I'm totally here for heels being out because I am naturally not a heels girl. I love the way that they look, but I'm just not that good at walking in them. I can't keep them on all night, and I do feel a little bit unnatural in them, if I'm being completely honest. I love a boot or a sneaker, and I've even fallen in love with the ballet flat over the past year, so I'm totally here for this heel trend not being the top dog right now they also mentioned that like kitten heels is a great alternative or just flat so i have definitely seen this a lot in the various places that i draw inspiration for styling i've seen a ton of outfits that i would normally see with a heel styled with a ballet flat or a kitten heel lately and i'm totally here for that because i will be able to walk in it so much better also sorry for my allergies my grandparents have a cat and two dogs and i'm allergic to all three of them but i love them so much and i love staying at their house so we just we just go with the allergies Okay, this next one I am also actually happy about because this is something that I have been feeling kind of internally and then when I read about it, it just clicked and it made so much sense and that is cutouts. So 
gosh i want to say over the past like two to three years cutouts have been huge and so many of the trend videos that i've done for the seasons or the years cutouts was always a top one they were great for dresses particularly i would say but also tops skirts pants pretty much anything and i have just gotten a bit over them i'm not gonna say that you're never gonna see me wearing a cutout because i think that they can still be fun but they did start to feel tacky to me i guess or a little bit like i was trying to go to a club too much or something which i never go to a club so i just don't really want to like dress that much like i'm going to a club i guess but again this is all with a grain of salt cutouts are not bad inherently and i might like them again tomorrow but i was happy to see that they are quote unquote going out for 2024 because i just haven't been gravitating towards them as much and instead it's more like interesting cuts and hemlines necklines on things so a lot of asymmetrical just sort of unique ways to dress up you know the decolletage area or the hem of a skirt or something or even the hem of a top i think that is kind of replacing the cutouts all right and then next up we have distressed denim which is another thing i actually can't remember if i read about this anywhere or if i saw anyone talking about it this is more of like a personal preference that i have just realized over the past year or so i would say i was so ride or die for distressed denim and now i just want everything to be clean cut i don't want any distressing on my denim i just want them to be pure which is so ironic because growing up my grandma used to make fun of me so much for the holes in my pants she's like why are you spending money to get pants that look ruined and i'm like you just don't get it but they're amazing and i'm obsessed with them and the more holes the better the more distressing the better fast forward you know to where we are today and i'm like i want them to just be clean i want them to look not brand new but i want them to look lived in but not destroyed if that makes sense so that i've just noticed is a huge shift for my preference in denim and i wanted to share it because i think for styling purposes it's been a lot easier for me to style non-distressed denim so if you're in the market for denim i would veer more towards non-distressed okay this next one i saw everywhere everybody was talking about it and that is that maxi skirts are now going to replace midi skirts so midi skirts are out for 2024 and i'm totally good with this because i'm more of a petite girly i'm like five four and a half and i feel like a midi skirt has just never done me that many favors i do think that anybody can pull it off and anyone can wear it of course i don't think it's like out of reach for any like body type or height or anything like that but i just think for my proportions a midi skirt wasn't really doing me favors to begin with so i'm not gonna miss them i did think that they were chic and cool but i also think that maxi skirts are chic and cool and they're pretty interchangeable the difference in actual design is very slight so it's not a huge difference but if you have to pick one this year according to the trends maxi skirts are going to be more in and midi skirts are going to be out all right this next one i feel a little bit torn about i definitely saw it on a bunch of different publications and in people's videos i don't know if i completely agree with it for myself but they're saying that chunky sneakers are out for 2024 and the low profile slim sneakers are in which i'm kind of just a lover of all sneakers so i do have some slim profile sneakers like the adidas gazelles and sambas i have a pair of sorry guys i just love playing with this pen while i'm talking to you i have a pair of onitsuka tigers as well and i do like these like more slender sneakers but i also still love a chunky sneaker so my air force ones i still love i'm still a big platform converse girly my dunks i love which aren't like super chunky but they're not super slim either so i don't know exactly where i stand with this one i think i'm more on the team of slender sneakers are in and i will wear those and i do support them but i'm not ready to say for me that chunky sneakers are out but i did want to share it in this video with you guys for the sake of everyone was saying it and it seemed pretty unanimous so you know you can tailor that to your needs okay the next thing i saw a lot of in videos which i'm also slightly torn about for my personal preference and personal style but they're saying that oversized things are 
taken a hike in 2024 and more tailored fitted things are going to replace them and I do agree with this on some levels because the last again two to three years I was so big on oversized things almost the bigger the better like I wanted a men's double XL and everything I wanted to be swimming in my oversized t-shirts like literally wanted them to touch my ankles pretty much and over the past year I would say I started to veer away from that slowly but surely so like in a hoodie like this for example I used to probably get a 2xl and now I'm wearing a medium I would even buy this in a small and have it be more true to size and fitted like that so I've definitely seen myself gravitate more towards that true to size fitted more tailored look in a lot of different styles but i just don't think i'm ever going to be over an oversized thing like i still like wearing my boyfriend's clothes i like men's clothes that are big i just think i'm never fully going to get over that but as far as trends go again and what's really forecasted and seen across the board and not just for my own personal style preference it is leaning less towards the oversized and more towards the tailored and fitted so even with like blazers i don't think i'm ever going to be over an oversized blazer because it's so good and i think it works for my proportions and my personal style really well but i have tried a few more fitted and tailored blazers recently and i like that as well so it's less that this trend is all the way out for me and getting fully replaced and more so that i'm veering away from it a little bit and adding more of the fitted trend if that makes sense on that same note the next one that i wanted to mention was just a lot of graphics i feel like again personally over the past couple of years i have just kind of put a little bit of a pause on the excessive graphicness that i used to be so drawn to and that's specifically with like graphic tees and graphic sweatshirts i find now that i like things a little bit more simple than i used to and i think that is just you know part of the trends and the way that things have been going in fashion over the past couple of years so obviously like the sweatshirt i'm wearing today is not super plain but it is just like a pattern it's just a print it doesn't have like a graphic on it i used to wear graphic tees and graphic sweatshirts like every single day and now if i wear one i feel like i just want them to be a little bit more simple so i might wear a graphic sweatshirt but it just says like a school's name or something instead of the like band tee I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about it was over the top there for a second and I feel like it's just calmed down a little bit and it's not that graphics are all the way out but I think that they've just been toned down a bit and I think we're gonna see more of that in 2024 okay and then the last one that I wanted to talk to you guys about was actually about nails because nails is a huge part of like personal expression and fashion to me and I've always loved getting my nails done and expressing myself in that way and again over the past couple of years i think that nail art has taken a huge back seat there was a time where nail art was so alive and so well that i was going to the nail salon with like the craziest ideas in my head and my nail tech anna is incredible she would make the coolest things happen for me and i am so grateful for that and i loved them and i thought that they were so fun but over the past year or maybe a little bit more pretty much every time i go to the nail salon i just want plain neutral nails like solid color nails have never been more in than recently i would say i mean even my tech has said she doesn't do designs really for anyone anymore everybody just wants solid nails chrome is really in jelly nails are really in cat eye nails which is basically just these more fun versions of solid nails but the insane nail art i think has just slowed down so much i still see a little bit of designs here and there and some are really cute and i like them but lately i'm just opting for like just a nice solid neutral color and i love it so yeah that is the roundup of trends that I think are kind of going out for 2024, at least for me. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think about these trends. Is there any that you strongly agree with? Any that you strongly disagree with? Is there anything that you think should be on this list that isn't? I'd love to hear from you guys because obviously we're all just interpreting the fashion space and pulse differently so as always thank you guys for watching and let me know what other videos you want to see in this new year i'm excited for them and i'll see you guys next time